What's up, guys? Welcome back. Thank you for stopping in. If you are new here, please consider hitting the subscribe button and ring the bell. That will notify you of when I am releasing a new video. And if you would, before you head out, hit the like button. That will help the video get circulated. And if you have time, leave a comment down below. I love interacting with everyone. I will get to your comment. I try to respond to everyone. Uh, it just might take me a day or so. It kind of depends. Uh, but I will answer and uh, respond to everyone. I appreciate everyone who does leave a comment and hits the like button. All the people who come and watch. All the people who listen. I appreciate all of you. All of the new people that are showing up every day, uh, thank you, hang around, hopefully uh, I can learn something from you, or you can learn something from me, or uh, you can learn something from one of my other viewers. Uh, the knife community is full of knowledge across all kinds of fields, uh, if you want to know something, uh, and you want to find it out, hang around long enough, and you will find out all kinds of different things. Any question you have, uh, there will be an answer. Uh, today, we are talking about the Hogue EX-01 button lock. Now, this guy is the aluminum version. This has a three and a quarter inch cutting edge and a three and a half inch blade. It's coming out to seven and seven eighths on the total length. Um, so this is a good size knife. Uh, I wanted to talk about it because in the year of the button lock, uh, I was trying to think of I have ideas and other stuff that I'm doing, but I was trying to think what's something different. Uh, I was looking at my knives, and I got this guy out, and this knife doesn't really get much credit. It doesn't get any attention. Um, I rarely ever see I, I Michael Morgan uh, a fellow community member awesome member shout out to Michael Morgan uh, he has one and he loves his also uh, but I rarely ever see anyone talk about this knife show this knife uh, there are some reviews on it uh, most of them are from a long time ago. Uh, so I, I, and I was thinking, man, this knife is so amazing. Uh, and this has been around for a while. Uh, it is a button lock. It's a manual button lock. Uh, it's got the aluminum scales. Awesome. It's so comfortable. Hogue knows what they're doing with grips and comfort. I mean, this is still a, Elisha Witt's design, just like the uh, Decas are, but Elisha Witt and Hogue know how to design a grip, uh, and this is so comfortable, that backspacer aids in the comfort of your palm there, got some nice heavy duty jimping up here, it's comfortable, you can really dig into this guy, uh, and the blade is phenomenal. Hogue does amazing. Look at that edge. Hogue does an amazing job on their blades, on their edges. Um, it does have a nice stone wash to it. Uh, and it is very slicey. Uh, that's one thing I didn't have ready. Was some paper. This thing is a slicing machine. It has 154 cm, which which Hogue is known for using, and 
they use it very well. Uh, if you are not familiar, Hogue is American, uh, just like uh, Protec is American, and Protec knows what they are doing, and they love 154 CM too. Uh, they have used it a ton and done very well with it. Uh, this has one of the best blades on it. Uh, that I've really ever handled. I mean, it's it's up there. I, I have some really sharp knives and some really good blades. Uh, and this guy is, it's up there. Uh, Hogue just does an amazing job. Uh, everything is even. Everything looks phenomenal. It It is held up phenomenal. Uh, this is a knife that I've put through a lot of stuff. I didn't, I didn't, you know, trash the knife. Uh, it's actually still in, I don't think there's any mark on it anywhere. Uh, and I've carried this a ton. So there is, you know, they do a good job with their coating. Uh, they just do a phenomenal job. But the main idea of this whole video Everybody who know is in the knife world knows all the stuff I just said about Hogue. But this button lock is so good. It, it's, it's up there with the Malibu, in my opinion. Uh, the, the, the resistance you get when you are flicking it out, it's, it's perfect. It doesn't, a lot of these types of knives feel really light. Uh, this just feels beautiful. You, you gotta actually give it some gas, but once you do, it comes flying out of there. And it has amazing sounds. Just, it flacks out. Very well done. You have a tactile click that I don't think will ever go away, and it's perfect to me. As soon as you know you're clicking the button, you get a little click, and it it's butter. And I really like that. Uh, and that's the other thing that brought me to this knife, is everyone's raving about how Vosti did that button collar. And sorry about that. Everyone was raving how Vosti did this collar, and I I was too. Uh, but I thought I had seen it somewhere else before, and it was right here. Uh, <laughs> it's comfortable the way they milled this all out. Uh, just look at the hardware. Um, just look at the hardware there. Everything's finished. Amazing. I love Hogue. You know, the pocket clip is it's a spoon clip. Uh, and it works really well. Uh, you know, that is what it is. With all the other amazing qualities this knife has. And that's probably actually replaced. Replaceable. That might be replaceable. I, I never actually looked because I never really cared. I like knives that I can just grab and pull. You know, you have that sticking out of your pocket just enough to get your finger on. And you can grab a hold of it and pull it right out. Uh, but the the action and the, the mechanism of their button... Uh, Everything about this is pretty much perfect. This whole knife. Uh, and like I said, I, I rarely see it getting the credit that it should be. Uh, it's, well, it's well built. Um, everything is nice and heavy duty. 
you got that nice thick stock in there my lighting is starting to disappear on me so my camera quality will suffer a little but it's so well done if you was looking for an american made edc knife uh at a good price now the aluminum is a little more than i believe it is there i think it's g10 that one's a little cheaper uh 20 bucks maybe or something but i opted for the aluminum in the drop point the tanto is definitely calling my name though uh but this uh aesthetic was perfect to me uh when i got when i ordered it and it surpassed all of my expectations uh i had a couple hogs before this one so i knew they had quality stuff but like i said i never heard anyone talking about it so i kind of was like eh i don't know if it's gonna be a good button lock and it's it's awesome uh i have no complaints um and for all the people who i still am missing that um if you are grabbing the knife in any sort of normal way you are not going to hit that button um i i fail to see where you're going to hit that button when you're holding this knife in a, a normal grip and I don't care. I have pre unless you have massive hands and then you reach up here. I mean, if you have that big of hands, you're gonna know. Oh, my fingers on the button. I'll leave that. You know, I'll leave it off or I'll, whatever. You'll change your grip. Uh, but I hear too much about the button getting pushed and whatnot when it's open. I mean, I just don't see that. I don't get that. Uh, I've had, you know, you, you might have a legitimate gripe that the buttons stick out too far on some knives or whatever. Sure, I guess that's true, but you still shouldn't be, depending on, I don't know what grip they are using their knives in, but that shouldn't be happening. Um, theirs is completely sunk when it's closed and then you have just a little protrusion when it's open just enough to get your finger on there uh we could throw it up against two knives for the people that are still here but as you can see they're up against the vostied raccoon and the manix 2 lightweight It's bigger than both of them. Uh, so it's <clears throat> it's a good size knife. Um, for anything medium hands and under, you know, this is going to be a big knife. Uh, to people with like large, extra large hands, this is going to be a perfect knife. Uh, for XXL hands too. Uh, this will be a perfect knife for any type of EDC, any type of tradesman, uh, this knife will be perfect. And if you ha are a tradesman and you get into some heavy stuff, it does have that lock on there so that you can't push the button. So, I mean, you know, you could wrap two hands around it or, or whatever. You could push the button all you want and it's still not going to close. So, you know, if, if people are having that problem, Hogue solved it for you a couple years ago uh but so that is the hogue ex01 aluminum drop point 154 cm i think i covered everything uh it's got an amazing blade in 154 it's american made nice aluminum scales comfortable um it pockets well it's not too heavy i guess that is something i missed uh, which I'm going to miss this part sometimes because most, you know, whatever. It's four and a half ounces.
and 129 grams. So, ratios wise, it's a little over, but I do not care one bit about ratios really. Um, and the whole using the handle for the blade, I mean, some knives I understand that, and then others it's not a big deal to me. Uh, Hogue does it perfectly here. Uh, the blade goes all the way down to, you know, just perfect enough where you can't get your finger in there to get yourself. Uh, so that is the Hogue EX-01, guys. Button lock, amazing knife. American made just like everyone wants. They're under 170 bucks, I'm pretty sure. They're under 200. And to get this kind of quality, I don't want to hear about 154 cm because it's definitely worth $800. You know, so there, there's guys who are using it on $800 and $1,000 knives. So Hogue, who does excellent work, can do it on their $150 knife. So, I don't really ever want to hear that from anyone. 154 CM is an awesome steel. I have tons of knives in it. Uh, so, if that is what was holding you back, don't let it hold you back. It's a well-rounded steel. Alright guys, if you're still here, thanks for hanging around. Uh, if you're still here and you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. Leave a comment down below, and before you head out, hit the like button. I appreciate it, guys. Have a good night, and be safe. I will catch you on the next one.